Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus again, still holding on to truth to keep you informed about the things of the past. And one thing I'd like to share with you right now, I got a little poster here. I got to bring it up close to you. It says, your next U.S. president, Eddie Marcus. Well, he looks like a kind of young man, so that must have been a minute ago. But anyway, it's part of the show that God wants you to know about his love for you. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. At that time, God had me running for president of the United States. What for? To liberate the people from bondage, from bondage of the adversary, from bondage of deception and lying and cheating and pain and suffering. And so as I maintain my approach to share with you I'd like to share this message with you. It says, why I am seeking the U.S. presidency. I do so in honor of the Creator God. I'm sharing this good news of brotherhood, cooperation, and the fruit thereof in contrast to the current state of affairs here in the U.S. I do so and offer the believers the opportunity to stand with the shepherd of all the sheep and in so doing teach the country to love. Do I think I can win? If the believers of any faith as we know it today were true it would be impossible to lose. Even though the faiths are so many they all basically believe in the same outcome. As well, the desires of human beings are common across the world. God made it so. My seeking the office gives voice and action to the spirit of life that all that is required to meet the needs of that which was made, as far as human beings are concerned, is met. All the true Christians and children of God will stand together they got no choice. Never in your voting history have you had the choice of supporting life that profited every individual versus life of the majority, by the majority, and for the majority. The American dream, how many people have lived in America over the past 200 years? How many have hoped that they become rich? What percentage has? It's like the lottery. Five million purchase tickets, hoping to win, and only one wins. Have you? This campaign is not about hoping. It's about guaranteeing. My fellow Americans, open your eyes and see. Tune your ears and hear. The richest and meanest people in the United States of America have hired George W. Bush to look after their interests. In their behalf, taxes have been cut to repay their investments in him. He has invaded Iraq to tap into its wealth as an investment for the wealthiest Americans. As for Iraqi liberation, they don't care a thing about the people just as they cared less for the people they supported, Saddam, in killing, or the thousands of Iraqi Americans killed in trying to kill Saddam, or the millions of minorities and poor in this country that the majority refused to care about, a character flaw that has allowed them to rob the children of today and tomorrow by borrowing and spending from their futures in Iraq. The purpose is to protect and secure American shareholders' interests there. In days past, this conservative group is known as Slave Master. The same group plans to spend $200 million to deceive and trick the American public and return Mr. Bush to a second term in office 
and complete the mission they agreed upon. The Democrats extended themselves to a few more people. Though they owned slaves as well, many times they tried to keep families together and sold them sparingly. Many of them supported abolition. They committed somewhat in change, or to change, but their spirit was and is contaminated. They could not be or see clearly the path to change. The evidence rests on their policies of affirmative action. They could not see how a prepared employment and education for all. So they went from taking from some to make room for others, still leaving others wanting. In America, competition causes people to look for each other's weaknesses for purposes of exploitation. The power for change is in your hands, not representation. They can only represent your you according to your true spirit. If in your spirit you are evil, you can only be represented by evil people. For you are willingly for you willingly vote for evil men. Question is, can you blame others for the hell that is taking place? I think not. Half of America, including those not rich, but filled with evil in their hearts, will be voting to put Bush back in office. The other half will be aggressively and with much evil intent trying to put a Democrat in the Oval Office. Even though 227 years of rule under both parties have always left half the nation depressed as is now. If Iraq and Afghanistan can undergo a major overhaul, so can America. And America must undergo a major change if all her citizens are to enjoy the life the Creator prepared. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a message, one of the messages that I presented as I was seeking the office of uh, President, I believe that was in the year 2004. And it didn't stop then. There will be other presentations that will be made to you, but I want to thank you so much for giving me this time to speak to you, to let you know that God did not turn his back on you. Even back in those days, God had a messenger to come before you and to share his love to you. But you could not understand those who heard it. And those of you who didn't hear it, well, it is what it is. Thank you.